The Chevrolet Tahoe enters 2023 fully equipped with the Super Cruise technology that is already offered. While the Tahoe's interior and suspension might use an upgrade, it successfully completes its primary task. The Tahoe is a full-size, three-row SUV that competes with transporters like the Ford Expedition. Significant advancements in ride comfort, technology, and convenience features can be found in the Tahoe's facelift. However, there is less practical storage than you might anticipate for such a large car due to the extremely supportive seats and a perplexing interior arrangement. However, there aren't many family haulers that are as advanced and competent as this one. Today in this video we gonna touch many features of this amazing American masterpiece. So be attention and don't waste and skip any second of this review and don't forget to hit like button down below. But before we proceed I recently starting mentioning my new subscribers and if you join there is free shout out from me. So shout out for Millicent Halbert, Michael Rose and for Sameh Abdella. Abdallah. Congratulations, you chosen of a new loyal subs. I'm always doing a random shout out from my subscribers. And if you wanted to be mentioned in the next video make sure to subscribe and don't hesitate. And now let's find out. Interior When compared to smaller, mid-size SUV, the full-size Tahoe has a huge cabin with what feels like acres of space. Three rows of seats are standard, and the second row seats move fore and aft to give flexibility that enables adults to sit comfortably in the wayback. The Tahoe's interior package also includes a low, flat load floor owing to its independent rear suspension. With the second and third seats folded, the cargo room expands to 123 cubic feet. We also squeeze six carry-on luggage beneath the third row. While we like that Chevy ditched the conventional column shifter in favor of a push-button and slider system, the motorized, retractable center console lid appears gimmicky, especially because the control switch is on the roof. The wide opening doors provide simple access to the front and back seats, and third row passengers have plenty of headroom to get to their seats as well. The driver's seat and steering wheel may be adjusted to accommodate a wide range of drivers. Although visibility is normally decent, the towering front end might make it difficult to notice obstructions closer than 6 feet distant. Fortunately, the Tahoe comes standard with a fantastic multi-view camera system that makes parking in tight spaces a snap. Technology For LT trims and higher, the Tahoe's greatest technological features are available. These models feature wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, a 10.2 inches infotainment touchscreen, and a 12.0 inches driver-facing digital instrument panel. Wireless charging, Bose Sound, and Google's Voice Assistant are all included. A surround view camera and a head-up display are included in the high country trim. There are several charging outlets located around the cabin, but if you choose the power center console, those connectors are relocated to the same bin as the wireless charging pad. This results in a wiring jumble that is fairly inconvenient. An 8.0 inches infotainment touchscreen and a 4.2 inches driver display remain standard on the basic LS grade. None of the other features are present, however smartphone compatibility is still available. It's a bit of a blunder for a nearly $70,000 SUV not to have adaptive cruise control, since it was not available on our Z71 equipped test vehicle. We also saw irregular response times from the lane keeping aid. Another letdown was the miscalibrated stability control system in our test talk. When making corners, it had a tendency to overreact, drastically reducing the vehicle's speed much below what we considered required. Comfort The Tahoe's new independent rear suspension has solved many of the problems that plagued the previous model. Our test car had a completely adjustable suspension that easily absorbed large and minor bumps. The Tahoe might have scored higher in this category, but the seats in the first and second rows are too firm and lack the comfort and cushioning required for long-distance travel. The Tahoe's third-row seats at least offer more cushioning and support than the third rows in most of the competitors. The Tahoe's multi-zone climate control system performs admirably. Heating and cooling are efficient for all three rows. We don't like the smaller climate control buttons in the front and the loud back climate system, especially if you're in the third row. The windshield is another cause of increased noise. At highway speeds, it made a noticeable noise. Exterior The 2023 Tahoe full-size SUV, which is 17.5 feet long, has a similar tire print footprint as the Ford Expedition. It's large, although observers could mistake it for a solar eclipse, an eclipse takes longer to pass. The Z71 and Premier feature optional 20 inches alloy wheels in the lowest trims, while the LS and LT have 18 inches alloy wheels. High country variants have 22 inches alloy wheels. The Z71 foregoes the sidesteps that come standard on the LS in favor of more ground clearance. This year's updates include a black grille that is available with the LS, LT, RST, and Premier trims, which replaces the traditional emblem with the word Chevrolet in capital letters. Silver Sage Metallic 
sterling gray metallic, and radiant red tint coat are new paint options for 2023. Driving The Tahoe performs admirably under acceleration and braking given its size. A 5.3-liter V8 engine and a 4WD Tahoe that we tested achieved a 0-60 to 60 miles per hour sprint time of 7.7 .7 seconds, which is typical for a big SUV. But once you cross 65 miles per hour, or so, the Tahoe's smaller V8 engine just runs out of steam, so passing moves at higher speeds will require a lot of power and patience. Our only issue with the generally reliable and smooth braking system is the brake pedal's tendency to be a little mushy. The magnetic ride control suspension or an adaptive air suspension are available on different trim levels of the 2023 Tahoe full-size SUV, but even the standard system is cozy and well-tuned. In a Tahoe, a lengthy trip should be savored rather than endured. Each of the two possible V8 engines is powerful enough to perform without feeling overworked. Additionally, the optional turbocharged diesel engine offers low-end torque and improved fuel efficiency, making it perfect for negotiating mountain terrain. Because of the Tahoe's small turning circle and light steering, navigating city streets is simple. The automated 10-speed gearbox changes smoothly and quickly. However, the mild steering of the Tahoe is ambiguous, especially at higher speeds, and the Tahoe makes it obvious that you are operating a big SUV and should definitely take it slowly around curves. The Tahoe benefits from its height-adjustable air suspension and strong approach and departure angles when outfitted with the optional Z71 package. It can handle light off-roading conditions well. The Z71 comes with a low-range transfer case and a four-wheel drive system as standard equipment. All-terrain tires and additional underbody protection are also offered. The Tahoe has an 8 inches ground clearance without the air suspension and a 10 inches ground clearance with it, should any owners follow the call of the unpaved wild. In the highest premier and high country trims, there is a new option called Super Cruise. It is a partly self-driving system that operates hands-free and foot-free on a limited number of highway, a number that is increasing as additional roads are added to the navigation system's database. Engine Throughout its entire existence, the Tahoe has been powered by a V8, and the current version is no exception. However, a 3.0-liter diesel six-cylinder engine joins its base 355 horsepower 5.3-liter and optional 420 horsepower 6.2-liter blocks. The oil burner has the least horsepower of the three, but it has a torque of 460 pound-feet, which is equivalent to the larger V8. A 10-speed automatic transmission and either rear or all-wheel drive comes standard on every Tahoe. We put the off-road Focus C71 variant with the regular V8 to the test. It has 20 inches wheels covered in all-terrain rubber, a two-speed transfer case for conventional four-wheel drive, and underbody protection. At highway speeds, our example's interior was remarkably quiet, had a strong brake pedal, and had acceptable acceleration. Air springs, which enable the Tahoe's ride height to be adjusted both automatically and manually, and adaptive dampers, which come as standard on the more expensive Premier and High Country models, are also included with the Z71 package. Both the RST model and the latter have flashy 22 inches wheels for greater curb appeal. The three possible powertrains for the Tahoe remain the same. With either rear or all-wheel drive, they all have a superb 10-speed automatic gearbox. Stick with the standard 5.3-liter V8 with 355 horsepower and 383 pounds FT of torque, which propels the Tahoe to a 0-minus-60 time of 7.5 seconds for the most towing capacity. The 2023 Tahoe has not yet received an EPA rating. However, as of last year, its city highway fuel efficiency was 1520th MPG. Expect the all-wheel drive model to do worse on those metrics. A 3.0-liter turbo diesel is not a prohibitively expensive improvement if fuel economy is a consideration. It is the most fuel-efficient Tahoe model available, with a maximum of 2128th MPG. The engine produces 277 horsepower and 460 pounds FT of torque. The most potent engine is a 6.2-liter V8 with 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. And with that we've reached the end of today's video. Which one of these SUVs would you most likely be to buy? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to click that like button. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.